Hi everyone, this is Shali Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. I am back with another video for you today uh, and this is going to be on one of your clinical skills for NMC OSCE exam. And today the skill which I will be covering will be insertion of fine bone nasogastric tube uh, which is part of your clinical skill in your NMC OSCE exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making lots of uh, more videos for you to help you with your preparation for the exam okay so what, what are we going to tell you in today's video so I'm going to tell you obviously how to insert a nasogastric tube um, using NMC criteria according to that so we're going to look at the criteria we're going to look at the steps how to insert a fine bore nasogastric tube and again my five top tips at the end so let's get started so if you look at the first screen uh, this is a 12 minute station uh, so obviously you have to measure uh, the fine bore and nasogastric tube and insert the nasogastric tube correctly into mannequin okay so this will be the procedure will be done on the mannequin not the real uh, patient uh, so uh, next thing will be check that the tube is in stomach to confirm it you will be using ph strips to check the ph of the gastric content okay the aspirate uh, so that's what you have to do as well and then uh, there is no documentation needed in this station so it basically is uh, measuring the tube correctly inserting the tube correctly and then checking with your ph strip using your ph ph strips checking that it's in the correct place okay so that's what we have to do in 12 minutes they normally tell you your id check and allergy check has been completed in this station if they don't tell you then go ahead and do it with your patient but normally it's been told that you have already done the id check and allergy check with your patient okay so next let's look at the next screen so what we need uh, equipment wise we need fine bone nasogastric tube and we need to check the packaging is uh, intact and the expiry date on it. Uh, we need a tray or a trolley to do our procedure. We need a receiver or a small kidney tray or dish to go under the nasogastric tube when we are going to insert the tube. Um, just in case if, if our patients are feeling sick or they as we put the tube in maybe there are gastric contents which might come out so we really need to make sure that we keep a kidney dish under the uh, under patient mouth uh, and nose uh, and then we also need warm water they will give you in your exam a galley pot with warm water in it uh, to lubricate your tube you will need the ph strips because we need to check the ph of the gastric contents content 50 and 60 mils range and tape to secure the ng tube okay so we need 50 uh, 50 or 60 mils purple entrails range and they will provide you one and the gastric content they give you gastric content in a little galley pot because you won't get a real aspirate from the mannequin uh, and then tape to secure the ng so okay that's what we need so and you need your gloves and apron that goes without saying so let's go through the procedure step by step you're going to do the scene safety close the curtain uh, do your full hand hygiene explain the procedure to the patient and gain consent uh, and then you can state that uh, id and allergy check has already been done as per your briefing from the examiner and then uh, we got clean hands now we can go ahead and assemble our equipment so you make sure that you check the expiry date on the ph strip you check the expiry date on the packaging of your ng tube so that's really really important uh, and then you're going to put uh, uh, put on a dispo uh, uh, plastic apron and disposable gloves so once you have got that done then you're going to arrange a signal with your patient okay so if your patient feels uncomfortable when you're inserting ng or they feel out of breath or they have cough they can put their hand up okay so if you arrange this signal beforehand with your patient it's really good idea because then patient can tell you by putting hand up to say that they want you to stop 
okay so do that with your patient first communicate that and then next thing will be assist the patient in this case mannequin uh, in a semi upright position okay so because we need to make sure that they are in semi upright position for inserting the ng and also they can be in a chair or a bed and then uh, supporting the head with pillows so to ensure there is that the patient can't move their head forward or backward okay so we need to verbalize that even if you see your mannequin is in the correct position you still need to verbalize this step okay and next we're going to do that next measurement okay so if you look at your next slide here so what is next measurement so next is from the nose to the earlobe so n is for nose so the starting of the bridge of the nose to the earlobe and then plus from earlobe to the zephy sternum okay so you will open your ng tube and you will measure that okay so again from the nose to the earlobe plus the distance from the earlobe to the zephy sternum as you can see on your picture verbalize that okay make a mental note of that you don't need to document that anywhere but just remember that and also verbalize that so that is your next measurement on your mannequin okay uh, so once we have done that um, uh, we're going to check with the patient which nostril is more open because we obviously want to use the one which is more open because it will be more comfortable for the patient so you can ask your patient to close one nostril with a finger and sniff with the other one and then once have, they have done that then close the other one with a finger and the sniff with the other side okay to just tell you which one is more open so once you have done that uh, then you're going to you're ready to insert the ng so you're going to lubricate approximately 15 to 20 centimeter of the tube in the warm water once you have done that before you put ng in make sure that you have got that kidney dish i mentioned earlier on under the patient or some kind of receptacle okay whatever they give you whether they give you a kind of a vomit bowl or a kidney dish whatever is provided in your exam center make sure that is under the patient uh, uh, and then uh, you also will mention that you will make sure there is a working oxygen and suction at the bedside just in case your patient develops any difficulty in breathing uh, so that's really important now you're going to insert the tube into the nostril which you have decided which one is the clearer nostril and slide backward uh, and inwards okay so you're going to go back of towards the back of the throat and inwards uh, along the floor of the nose uh, to the nasopharynx okay so that's your first step get to the nasopharynx by inserting the tube sliding it backwards and inwards along the floor of the nose uh, if you feel any uh, obstruction um, you should stop and try again in a slightly different direction or use the other nostril okay uh, so you will verbalize this so once you get to the nasopharynx and then you're going to verbalize obviously it's mannequin but you're still going to verbalize ask the patient to start swallowing so the dry swallows okay if they're able to and then uh, uh, as tube passes uh, down the nasopharynx and going into the esophagus that's when we want our patient to do dry swallows uh, while you're putting this tube into your mannequin you got to continuously keep uh, verbalizing that you will observe your patient um, uh, for any signs of any distress such as coughing or breathlessness uh, so in that case you go, will uh, remove the uh, tube immediately obviously it's mannequin but still you need to verbalize that that you will be checking your patient as you're inserting the tube to make sure your patient is not developing any cough or any breathlessness okay so that's really really important point and then once your tube uh, you got to the point uh, inserting where you know the markings are where you measured a uh, and then you stop at that distance and then you're going to use some of the adherent uh, tape they have given you to fix the tube to the nostril and also you can put a little bit on the cheek as well to fix it to the cheek so it's in place um, 
now we got the tube in place now we need to make sure that it's in the right place so it is not in the lungs it is in patient's stomach so how do we check that so now you will aspirate so you will verbalize that i will use my 50 or 60 ml syringe and i will aspirate a little uh, some of the stomach content small amount of the summer uh, uh, of the stomach content uh, with my syringe and obviously you're not going to be able to get any uh, gastric content from the mannequin so they're going to provide you gastric content either it will already be in your syringe or they might provide you a, a little acidic solution in your little galley pot okay so you can use that so now you're going to um, given whatever is given aspirate to you you're going to uh, take that in your syringe and you're going to apply it on a test strip so just keep your test strip on the top of the uh, you know uh, kidney dish you have put underneath your patient mouth and nose so you can just take your strip there and take one strip out of the container take it onto your uh, kidney dish on the top of the kidney dish with your syringe apply a little bit of solution onto the pads on the test strip make sure they're all covered with the solution and then you need to wait about 10 to 30 seconds and then you can read the results by comparing the color on the strip against the colored chart on the container which you can see on your screen and then the manufacturing instructions are there as well so the gastric content ph should be 5.5 or less so you're going to be on the top of the chart if you look at the top section of the chart because it covers the uh, ph from 2 to 9 but yours should be towards the top of the chart which is less than 5.5 so you're not going to say it is less than 5.5 you're going to exactly compare your strip with the chart and say exactly what it is is a 3 is a 4 is a 4.5 what it is okay so you're going to do that so now we know we have confirmed that the tube is in the stomach uh, so then you can just use the end cap on the tube to cap it they don't give you a tube with the guide wire so you don't have to take the guide wire out so they will be just a cap at the end just cap the tube and then you're going to dispose of your equipment which is your syringe and strip apron and gloves will go in the clinical waste uh, and then you're going to clean your hand with alcohol hand rub and then you're going to also state that that you will check uh, tube positioning every time before you put anything through the ng whether it's medication whether it's feed before every time you use that ng just before that you will check the positioning again with using ph strip every single time okay and also that is your hospital policy to check the positioning of the tube with the chest x-ray as well so that can be done if we are not sure if it's in the stomach so and then you will end so you go going to just verbalize that at the end and then do your final hand hygiene at the finish of the, the and that is the finish of the station okay so now my five top tips my five top tips are don't forget to in the beginning don't forget to explain the procedure to your patient and uh, you know uh, agree a sign maybe usually putting their hand up if they uh, start to have any breathing difficulties or they feel uncomfortable okay so that's really important because uh, uh, nurses normally forget that and that would be critical fail again positioning uh, second top tip is verbalizing the positioning which is semi upright position with a pillow at the back of patient neck so that's really important tip number three is next measurement okay so you make sure you do it correctly from the bridge of the nose to ear lobe not right on the top of the ear just to the fleshy part the ear lobe okay so that's really important and then plus from ear lobe to see sternum so you need to verbalize that accurately on your mannequin and then uh, tip number four is making sure when you're inserting the tube you're verbalizing all your uh, verbalization like you're going uh, inwards and backwards along the floor of the nose and also that you're watching your patient continuously for any signs of breathlessness or any coughing or any distress okay that's really really important and tip number five is making sure when you talk about equipment that you say you will have working oxygen and suction available so that's really really important because that's one of the safety things we need to make sure and the bonus tip is obviously just practice with the ph strip with uh, some kind of like acidic uh, thing like orange juice or something so you know how to check that in your exam so make sure that you check the expiry date on the ph strips as well so the correct technique to check the acidity level of your gastric content so that's the end 
of the video i hope you like it and if you do like my videos please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and also you can visit us on oskinastraining.com we provide we provide full online face to face and obviously other just simple module training just a pie or just your skill packs for you or even help with your resets uh revision as well okay so i will soon be back with another video for you bye for now